Okay, good evening everyone. I, actually, morning probably if you're watching this, but I'm out here in my backyard and uh, got some lights set up over here. So hopefully you guys can see me alright. Um, I want to share with you something I saw in Newsweek. Actually, it came out last month. I saw it recently though, and the article says this. It's titled this, America Races to Avert quantum apocalypse and it's a really interesting article it, it talks about basically um, what's going to happen someday when there's the development of large-scale quantum computing and, and the concept behind it is that the way that it calculates or computes things is completely different and it absolutely dwarfs um, you know what we're using now for computing and then they go on to say basically um, good news nobody has one yet and there's part of me that says that might be bogus if if somebody had actually developed um, a large quantum computer I would be surprised if they really told the world they did that they did it now um, when you look if you if you go and you look around a lot of companies have said like Google and IBM they have all said that they have developed and made big progress in, in developing extremely powerful quantum computing and listen the whole concept about how quantum computing works it's not like it's too much for, I mean, go look it up. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot to it. But the idea is it's completely different than the computing we have right now. And the concern is that when that arrives, the security protocols, the firewalls, everything that we have that we're protecting, um, technologically speaking, um, will be laid bare. That's the concern. Now imagine, look around and think about it. How many things are connected these days? How, how many things have technology embedded in them? And what happens when somebody has easy access to all of that? Um, the, the answer is we don't know. But what's fascinating about this is if that were to happen, the person or entity that had um, that sort of access would be able to affect a lot of change, right? Good, good and bad, and hopefully good, but probably bad, right? Um, the concern here is already we have so much effort being put into utilizing technology to shape the opinions of the world and to monitor the reaction um, of people. Already we have algorithms tracking these things. Already we have marketing and all kinds of stuff like that happening. How much more is that going to take place down the road? especially if you just greatly accelerate how well uh, computers work. Now, when I think about that, I see technology being a very useful tool in the wrong hands. And knowing that um, down the road, there's going to come a time of great uh, changes in government, great political shifting. As we see, it's already happening. I wonder um, just how much this technology is going to play a part in in time scenario. And what I really see here is that we need to be people now, okay, that are grounded in truth. If if algorithms are tracking us and discovering nuanced ways to curb our opinions and that technology is really on a bullet train of advancement well 
we need to be grounded in the truth. We need to be rooted there so that deception, so that manipulation, all of these things that are taking place um, will not affect us in a negative way that we'll be able to identify that and so listen this is the time it's desperately important that you seek the lord that you know his word that you mature and you grow in what he says in the holy bible okay it's it's definitely the time for every believer to be established in those things and to grow and to be committed to knowing truth so listen um, commit yourself to it consider the gift that god has given you of his word um, take it learn it grow in it be established in it and allow the lord to work in your life and through your life keep fighting the good fight and god bless you